Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to talk about the Daiwa Tanacom electric reel. We got one for my dad for Christmas. We've been kind of excited. We wanted to try it out. We've seen some cool videos and we've been doing a lot of deep water fishing. Uh, most of our deep water fishing has been about 200 feet and we've been using manual reels and uh, it's, you know, quite a, quite a feat to reel up, especially a, a big fish on at 200 feet. But we've got this Daiwa reel and we're excited about testing it uh, today in 200 feet of water. But eventually we're going to move out to even deeper water, about 600 feet of water, going for rosies, tile fish, stuff like that. Yeah, here we go, guys. We are getting ready to try the old Tanacom. We put it down and we're hoping to catch some trigger fish today. Start off, caught some uh, vermilion snapper. That was pretty cool. Starting to get a feel for it. It's pretty neat how it's got the display. You know, it shows you how far down your line is, no more having to guess, you know, stuff like that. Got uh, electric mode where you can just push the lever forward, it'll reel up, or you can go to manual. It's counting how deep it's going. Looks like something's uh, hitting it. This is nice in the uh, rotating rod holders, that helps. Feels like working a offshore trot line. Oh uh, yeah. Just put a string of hooks back there. Watch them bounce. Have the machine bring it on in. Caught some little fish at first, pretty cool. Uh, but then we caught some, we started getting some bigger fish on it. Got a, uh, a jack on it, and that was pretty neat. Uh, definitely saved the arms. Those fish will usually kill you trying to bring them up at 200 feet. Uh, something. That's a big Vermeer. Isn't it Vermeer? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> there we go, guys. Our first fish on the Tanacom electric reel. Remain snapper. Yeah. Amberjack? Yeah. yeah. That's all I got. Get it. Yeah, you got it. Let me get this off of there. Get that around there a couple times or what? Uh, there you go. Is that amberjack or what? Amaco, maybe? Yeah, that's a big old Amaco, isn't it? Well, there we go, guys. Tanicom 1000 special. <laughs> yeah. All right, we think we got something big on. It's taking a lot of line. How you pop off? We're in negative. Maybe go shark again or what? Maybe. It really got interesting when we got a big fish on. The electric motor, you know, it was stalling out, it was taking line. So most of the time I was using the manual mode. You know, I didn't want to stress out the electric motor if it was like, you know, a huge shark. Uh, how, uh, how much further down is he? 70, 70 meters still. Dang. You gotta work it, buddy. I'm starting to see a big shadow. Fought the fish for a while and finally get it up and it is it's a really big shark put on uh, quite a show at the boat it's pretty cool and uh it's pretty neat how the reel work you know you could see how far down it was and, and get a good feel for it and we slowly worked him up and caught him um, he did quite a number to my rig we spooled ours up with a hundred pound braid gives us plenty of strength 
to go uh, deep water and handle these big fish. That shark uh, pretty much destroyed my rig. About broke the braid. It broke one of the lines for the Bimini twist. But we got the fish to the boat, got the leader, and uh, safely released it. It's pretty cool. We're excited about using this uh, electric reel. You know, now we've got a good feel for it. We're gonna take it out in some deeper water. Hopefully not catch big fish like that, but a bunch of smaller fish like the tiles and rosies. And try it here in the Keys, different places, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. You can also kind of use it as like a teaser reel if I need to, like when I'm trolling. You know, it's got a nice bent butt. Just put a teaser on it. If I need to flip the switch, it'll bring it right up. So looking forward to using it. It's pretty cool. Um, excited to see what we can do. Hope you guys like this video. We'll keep you updated how we're liking the Tanacom, uh, how it's working, and any tips and tricks we find with it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fishing videos, and we'll see you next time.